This video introduces the configuration of interfaces on Viata routers, and specifically configuration of Ethernet interfaces. I'll cover three tasks. First, I'll show you how to associate the internal Viata router interface number with the physical interface number. Next, I'll show you how to configure an Ethernet interface with a static IP. And last, I'll show you how to configure an Ethernet interface to dynamically obtain an IP address using DHCP. Let's start by logging into a Viata router. Next, let's look at our available interfaces with the command show interfaces. The response shows three interfaces, ETH0, ETH1, and ETH2. In addition, you see a fourth interface. LO is the loopback interface. The loopback interface is already functioning. We can demonstrate its function by pinging the interface. As you can see, the loopback interface responds to pings from the localhost. Stop the pings with control C. Let's look at the interfaces again using the show command. Show interfaces. This command displays interfaces, but you'll note the inter Ethernet interfaces do not have IP addresses assigned and the MAC addresses are not displayed. We will need the MAC addresses to associate the internal interface numbers with the physical network adapter numbers. To illustrate this, let's look at the settings for our Viata router's VM. So here's our Viata router. Let's look at the settings. As you see, we have three network adapters, network adapter one, network adapter 2 and network adapter 3. Click on the network adapter to display the MAC address associated with each network adapter. We'll need those MAC addresses when we go to configure the Ethernet interfaces in the Viata router. For now we're just going to make note of the MAC addresses associated with each of the physical interface cards. And as you can see I've done that right here. Network adapter 1 has a MAC address of 000C29BD23 41, network adapter 2, the last two digits are 4B, and network adapter 3, the last two digits are 55. Now let's go back to our Viata router and see how we can find the MAC addresses for e Ethernet interface on the Viata router. And as you recall, when we did the command show interface from operational mode, it did not display the MAC addresses. So let's instead go into configuration mode and do show interfaces from the configuration mode. You see that for each interface we have displayed some additional data including the type of communications but most importantly what we have is a MAC address displayed. Each zero has a MAC address of 000C29BD2341. Each one's MAC address ends in 4B and each two's MAC address ends in 55. Now we'll make note those MAC addresses for each of the Ethernet interfaces. Before we configure the interfaces, let's select some IP addresses we'll use for each interface. So as you recall, we have two additional tasks. One is to configure two interfaces with static IP addresses. And then the next remaining task is to configure an interface to dynamically obtain an IP address using DHCP. We'll configure static IP addresses for ETH0 and ETH1 and configure ETH2 to obtain an IP address dynamically using DHCP. We'll make note of the IP addresses that we'll configure for ETH0 and ETH1. On ETH0, we'll configure the IP address 150.150.1 1.1 with a subnet mask of slash 17. On ETH1, we'll configure the IP address 200.200.1.1 with a subnet mask of slash 24. And ETH2, we'll configure for DHCP. Now we have the information we need to configure the interfaces ETH0, ETH1, and ETH2. Now let's go ahead and configure those interfaces. First we'll start with E0. We'll use the help function to configure this interface. We're configuring the interface so we begin with the command set. Let's enter set and the question mark and from the options we see that there is an option interfaces. We'll expand the command with interfaces and the question mark. We see an option of Ethernet. We'll expand the command set interfaces Ethernet and the question mark. And now we see three options E0, E1, and E2. We're configuring interface E0, so we enter E0, again a question mark. We're configuring an IP address, so the next part of the command is address. We enter address, question mark, and it tells us to enter an IP address and a subnet mask. So we're going to enter an IP address, which is 
150.150.1.1 with subnet mask 17 and hit return and it accepts that command. Next we'll configure interface eth1. Hitting the up arrow will display the previous command. So we go back and change eth0 to eth1 and change the IP address to 200 dot 200 dot 1 dot 1 subnet mask 24 enter and last we'll configure e2 for DHCP so we'll enter the command again this time we'll change the Ethernet interface to e2 and instead of having a static IP address in there we're going to enter the command DHCP now we've configured IP addresses or DHCP on each of the interfaces. However, we have not yet committed the changes to the running config. Now we're going to commit them. They're committed. Let's do a show interface. We see that E0 has an IP address of 150.150.1.1 slash 17. E1 has an IP address of 200.200.1.1. E2 is configured for DHCP. Let's save these changes, which saves it to our startup config. And now our router has static IP addresses configured on interfaces E0 and E1, and E2 is configured to dynamically obtain IP address using DHCP. Let's exit out of configuration mode. And in operation mode, Let's run that command, show interfaces again. And we see that the IP addresses are configured on E0 and E1. However, E2 does not display an IP address. What should be displayed is the IP address that's leased to it from the DHCP server. However, we're not connected to a DHCP server at the moment. So we have at least an IP address. To summarize, this video showed you how to associate the internal Viata router interface number with the physical interface number. And it also showed you how to configure interfaces with both static IPs and for DHCP 